Hello everyone and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I am doing a makeup tutorial as my last hurrah for summer before we go bold, before we go deep, before we go sweater weather. Um, I wanted to do something featuring bronzers and highlighters both on the skin to give a really radiant warm glow, lots of SPF, but using it on the cheeks as well as the eyes because any powder products, especially with natural formulations, they are also safe to use on the eyes. So it helps you justify the price. It's a really easy cohesive look and bronzers and highlighters to me just scream, scream, scream summer. So that this is the look I'm going to be bringing for you here today. Um, because I'm using one product to do so many steps it's relatively quick and easy as well but it looks like I tried a lot harder than I did and you know that is kind of the name of the game so if you guys would like to know how I achieve this look you want to see some of my favorite products to achieve it in action then please keep watching okay so we're keeping the base nice and light SPF focus since this is an end of summer tutorial after all. So I'm going in with the Evolve Tinted SPF. This is their light medium option. This is actually the only option that they offer at the moment. Lighter and deeper colors are in the works, but if you can find this and, well, not find it, it's on the website, but if this works for your complexion, it really is the most beautiful lightweight option with some really good uh, SPF factor in there as well. So I'm just kind of further blending it out with a sponge. This is from 100% Pure. I'm gonna be using this to follow up with the next step, which is the Cure Weiss Invisible Touch Concealer. Now, you know I dig this stuff. I'm applying it underneath my eyes, around the nose. Anywhere there's a bit of redness, that's gonna be my chin. Um, I had a spot right next to my eye that had a real little tiny bit of irritation as well. So I'm going with the same 100% Pure sponge just to kind of buff this in. And I love this option because it's incredibly lightweight, um, but it will give you enough coverage to sort of cancel out any of the blue, but not look like you have a really light base and a ton of concealer, which I don't love that look. Then I'm going to go in with the Delium Tool 787 brush and my favorite 100% pure bamboo blur powder, and I'm just powdering underneath my eyes as well as the center of my face. So for bronzer, I'm going in with the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo. This thing is amazing. It is the perfect, not too warm, not too cool shade for my skin tone. So I'm using the Antonym number three brush. This might be the number two. I'll link it down below for you. Um, but I'm just buffing this in to all the usual places. Cheekbone, temple, underneath the jaw, quite liberally as well, because I'm hanging on to this summer tan if it's the last thing I do. And then I'm going in with the Cure Weiss. This is their Flush and Glow Duo which I have so, so, so thoroughly enjoyed this summer. And um, in here we have the, I think I'm using the Sunlit Glow Duo. But regardless, this is the highlight in Ravishing. These duos do have existing shades within the Cure Weiss lineup. So I'm using that highlight, which is so, so beautiful. And then I'm going to further the intensity of this highlight with layering the highlight that is in the Sculpt and Glow Duo also from Lily Lolo, also using the 787 brush. Just trying to make this as painless as humanly possible. We love it. Then I'm going in, this is actually the Vibrant Ray Duo, I'm sorry. So I'm going with the cream blush that's in this duo. It's a really nice peachy, warm terracotta tone. Perfect, again, for this really simple, warm, bronzy tones that we're going for. This is very, very summery. The Cure Weiss blushes work great on all skin types, so I'm just using my fingers to generously apply this to the cheeks and blend it out. Then to further, further, further intensify the glow, I am misting my face with the Amly Botanicals Radiance Boost Mist. This is still one of my favorite mists that we offer on the website. It is so good. So for eyes, like I said, we are using the same product. So I am going in with the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo. I'm using the Air Perez uh, Dual Ended Brush. So this has a really nice blending option. And um, it's a little bit stiffer than my Delium Tool 785. So it's going to allow me to get some good shape here. I have already gone ahead and filled in my eyebrows with the usual Plume Pencil, 100% Pure Green Tea Brow Fibers. You know how this goes. 
Now we're going to be layering again. So I'm going with the Delium Tools 777 brush. Um, and I'm going in with, again, the Ravishing Highlight. This is from the Cure Weiss Duo that we already used on the cheek. So I'm applying this highlight as a bit of a base. This will not only... Uh, increase the wear time of my eyeshadow, but it will also increase the intensity of it as well. So when I'm done with that, I'm just flipping the same brush over on the opposite side. We're doing the same thing that we did on the cheeks. We are layering. So I'm going in with the highlight in the Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Duo, and I am just patting this right on top, and you can see it's just the most beautiful champagne tone ever. And then I'm gonna go in with the same exact brush and just sort of soften that edge a little bit more. To intensify it, add a little bit of the warmth. I'm going in with another Lily Lolo bronzer. This is their standalone bronzer in the shade Montego Bay. So I'm just really nestling this into the outer corner. Um, again, I want this to be really fuss free, not quite messy, but not really harsh in shape either. So once I do that, I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush, soften that edge. But you can see it's a lot warmer than that initial uh, sculpt shade from the Sculpt and Glow Duo. Um, so I just wanted a touch more warmth, but not a ton. And then I'm also going to go in with the same bronzer. This is the Delium Tool 781 brush. And I'm sort of concentrating this right on the center of my lashes. I'm not connecting it. I'm not going for an overly feline look. I just wanted a little bit of a drop shadow there. Then I'm going to go in with the 100% Pure Rose Gold Palette. This is the deepest shade. Um, it's more of a bronzy tone. I'm just going to layer it right on top because it's equally warm, but I wanted to add a little dimension and shine. Finishing off the eyes with the Vapor Mascara. This stuff is really, really great. Very, very black and layered up. It just looks beautiful. So I am going in with a heavy hand like I always do. That is just a given in the tutorials in this channel, you guys. For lips, I'm going in with a favorite. This is the Ritual Defee. This is their Forbidden Lip Shears. And uh, I believe that's the name of them. I might be mistaken, but anyway, this is the shade Bittersweet. It will, as always, be linked down below. So these build up to really nice opacity, and you can see it's a really nice, warm, peachy shade. Kind of matches my hair. Got a little bit of orange. And then I'm finishing the look off with a Lily Lolo gloss. These are some of my favorite glosses ever. This is the shade Peachy Keen. So it's a little bit more of a peachy nude. It'll make this look a little bit more subdued, but not only that, it will add a whole lot of shine so this gloss totally finishes up the look all right everyone this is it this is my completed look using just bronzers and highlighters as eyeshadow and i wanted to do this as my last hurrah for summer the 22nd of september is officially the first day of fall but labor day is creeping up so it still feels very much like summer especially in this south florida heat now i like this look year round so anytime that you find this tutorial if you like it please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe i upload new videos here twice weekly and i don't want you guys to miss it every single product that i used of course i'm going to link in the description box down below for you lily lolo sculpt and glow palette if you haven't used this guys this is such a good one for eyeshadow cheeks it's just easy one and done situation a good peachy keen lip i mean very little can go wrong here. Um, but again, thank you all so much for watching. Everything you need is in the description box down below. Check us out on social. We are everywhere. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.